Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited and as you guys can see, it's another Amazon unboxing. But today I'm not gonna like let the cat out of the back. I'm just gonna be unboxing my business inventory. And just so you guys know, shh, I'm starting the business. I'm super excited. Like I've always wanted to do this since year 2016, but because you know, condition make crayfish bend, as my <laughs> baby would say. You know, I had to postpone the plan and focus on what were, you know, things that were more important then. But now, I'm super excited to be starting this out uh, because it has always been a long, live, lifelong dream of mine. I'm just really excited. So these are all the things that I'll be using for my business. Most of them have arrived. The only thing remaining is the printer, but the printer is not part of my business budget. So I've asked Babe to treat that as a separate cost because we actually need the printer. So I'm just going to be taking you guys through the journey. If you haven't seen my episode one or episode two, check the um, description, but I'm going to leave a playlist to all the videos under this entrepreneurial series. And I'm super excited. If you have any questions, you want to ask me anything, feel free leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys there so let's go right into today's video because it's a lot as you guys can see so i'm going to be starting out with the packaging and then go to shipping items right so for the packaging the first thing and please before i start i was looking at the most minimal and minimalist way of you know packaging my items and also shipping them out because i don't want to spend a lot of money and just because I'm starting out, I'm also testing the water. It's not like I'm going to go ahead and just squander like a lot of money. So I'm, I'm using the most basic and most affordable thing. So if you're starting a business, then consider using any of the items that I'm showing to you guys. And I'm going to leave a link to everything. All the stuff, I got them off Amazon. As you can see, Amazon labels everywhere. Amazon Prime is the shit. For $15 every month, you get free shipping on everything. So just imagine all this free shipping. Crazy. So I'm going to start off with the items for packaging and then we'll go to items for shipping i'm not going to tell you guys what i'm launching yet but if you're very close to me i might have told you guys jabot a bit but <laughs> i'm not going to disclose it yet until the launch date which i'm also not going to tell you but i'm also going to about i'm going to take you guys along the journey from the planning phase to the production phase and then you know the rest of the journey let's go into today's video no let's start off with the planning item i I actually like to write a stressful writing but i like to write like anytime i'm like you know something comes to mind <clears throat> i like to immediately write it down so what i like to do is get journals and if you guys know me very well you know i'm a journal holder like even when i'm not using them i just like having them around who knows so i have two actually we got two i have one i'm currently two actually one is for youtube planning the other one was for my online courses so i decided to get one more for my business so i have this and i've labeled it business journal i just used like a leaf and i taped it <laughs> by the side so it doesn't fall off so this is for business so when this finishes i'll go on to using this one but i just got this one i really liked my concern about this was the lining it just felt like it was going to make my handwriting ugly but let me tell you guys my handwriting has been so freaking cute so look at just just look at this fine handwriting do you get and then the ink doesn't spill that's another thing i look out for like when i'm buying journals i know these are like too many details just go ahead and buy the in journal but for me it goes deeper like i don't want to use any journal i want to use a good journal so i think i got each of this for um i think two dollars and some cents or three dollars or one dollar i'm not even sure but it was really cheap so there was a choice for this and there was one that was twelve dollars sixty four i can never forget the price i was like ah, ah, ordinary paper ordinary book i'll pay twelve dollars sixty four let me help you people calculate it in naira i think that's about i'll put it down below but i know it's like so ten dollar would be like three thousand six right about five thousand naira for a paper mm -mm. thank you so i got this ones they were a lot cheaper for two and it's still not the, up, up to the price for that particular one so yeah so that's that for packaging because my brand color has always been black and white i wanted to also retain that color so i'll be using black and white across like my branding and packaging as well and what's not even my logo you guys already know that my logo is black and white i've also done that in two versions let me know if you guys want a video on how to create your own logo the guy that did the first one like fucked up i blocked him everywhere because like when i was requesting for the editable files he just 
shadow banned me or something, wasn't replying my message. So I was like, ah, because of ordinary, you think I cannot use Photoshop? Excuse you. So I went to Photoshop and I tried to recreate that. I'll be showing you guys my business card and how it came out. Mm, I think it's a lot better than what the guy designed, so honestly. So I got this um, organza bags. I'm going to be very detailed because most of the videos that I watched online when I was doing my own research, they, they were not very detailed. They'll just show you, okay, this is organza. Like, what is the measurement? How do we know what we're getting? Do you get? And some of them will tell you, oh, the links are in the description bar. And when you check, it's not there. So I'm going to be as detailed as I can possibly be. And if I don't mention the sizes, when I'm editing it, I'm going to put the sizes on the screen because I, I want to help you guys. So this is organza. I think this is five by seven. So this can fit what I want, what I'm going to be selling. So I, I would basically just put it inside and put my business card inside. And that's that. So this is what it looks like. You know, normal organza material now, this suits you one so yeah i got this in black and i have 100 of them so 100 organza materials depending on the number of items that you're going to be selling you might need more or less i think i got this for eight dollars and some cents i'm not sure again i'm going to leave a link to every the links to everything that i got in the description box so you can go check them out and purchase them if you want to so that's that's with this the next packaging item that I got were are this. So these are bubble millers. Let me show you the pack itself. So this, yeah, I got 50 of this. That's the smaller one. And these are the four by eight one. And let me show you guys, even though I have a video where like when I got the items, I tried to show you guys because I was super excited. So it's the size of my palm. If you compare it with the size of my palm, that is four by eight do you get so from here to here that's the size of this and this can fit about two of the products that i'm going to be selling so depending on what you're selling you can just use my palm or your palm to like um, measure it so i got this for those that will be ordering one or two of my products and i'll just put them here and then i got a bigger one so this is these are the um, six by ten one this one's didn't come in 50 and like batches of 50 so this came in 50 like 50 packs like this but this one's come in 25 so if you want 50 of this you have to get two of it so that makes it 50 and of course they have to be black color so this is what the 6 by 10 looks like so it's from my palm the middle of my finger to my wrist so that's the size of that and then the width is the size like this is where it ends so this is my nail and this is where I end, almost the size width of my palm like this. So use that as a reference for whatever you're going to be selling. I'm just trying to be helpful because this stuff, they were not detailed on the internet. So it came in this box, as I told you, um, pack of 25. So I have 24 here because one is out. So this together is 25. So that's that with packaging. I really like the black colors. And let me tell you, so I was really focused on getting, so I wanted to get the holographic ones, those ones that shimmer. But then I'm like, why are you going to spend that much money? Because the pack of 25 was like $24. And I'm like, do you really need that? Like, do you? And this were a lot cheaper. So not cheaper, cheaper makes it sound bad. So affordable, affordable. So these ones were a lot affordable. So. I got this ones and they they are good quality i mean it does it's gonna get the get the get the job done so yeah um let me show, let me show you guys my business card i designed this myself since the guy that designed the previous one so i there were some that i printed in lagos i wish i had a copy i'll get that but let me get that okay guys so let me show you what my business card looks like in La um the one i did in lagos so a friend of mine did this and I printed it in Lagos and I think I printed it for about 5,000 naira or so. This quality, yes. Like maybe 5,000 or 8,000 naira. This quality, yes. For that price, yes. And this is really thick. Like this is quality material. And you can see that the back has like a glossy feel. I don't know if you guys can see it properly, yeah? This has like a glossy feel to it. While um, the back, it looks like it's, <laughs> it has like a sandpaper feel, which was actually what I wanted to go for. Let me show you what you guys, what Vista Prints did. So they sent a package. After taking their time to send the package, the card in front, like, you know, just to, I don't know what this is for. There's a card in front and there's also a card at the back of the this thing. So it's actually thicker than the card itself. So let me show you what they did. So this is the thickness. Compare the thickness to this. You can see that my old business card are actually thicker than what Vista Prints did. And Vista Prints 
um, 3.5 by 2 is actually smaller this is a lot bigger and it feels this is quality like if you gave me this card i would like <laughs> bitch please this is really nice but this one like i mean it's thick don't get me wrong but not as thick as what i wanted and i feel like the front is going to peel off easily so because it's matte anyways we're gonna have to make do of this i have 250 of that and uh, oh yeah i told you guys how much i did it so i did i printed 100 for about 40 dollars and it's that expensive because of the thickness which at the end of the day i didn't really get so the thickness was 14.5 <clears throat> 14 um pt which I'm actually very disappointed if you've watched my video you see that I was really mad visibly mad when I got this but yeah I would have to make do of this make do with this um, so when I was about checking out they told me I could print additional 150 for six dollars 53 and of course I took that offer so I have 250 cards um, I hope they didn't reduce the quality because of that price yeah let me see I'm just pick some some at the middle at the center of the they feel the same all the way so i think it's okay so that's that with the card i got some shipping label so when i was still planning like proper planning i was thinking should we get like the adhesive one the one should we get the one where like you just peel off the label from it or should we get the one that no like should we get this or just print some regular paper so i figured this one was a lot better because regular paper you have to use tape and then during transit it might peel off or something bad might happen to it so yeah this is what the um shipping labels look like let me show you guys because i've actually not opened it and oh it comes with a free fragile that's thoughtful it comes with a free fragile sticker this is nice so let me just put that back there so this is what it looks like um so you print there are two sheets like this so you print here and you basically just peel it off when you're done you peel it off like this yeah of course there's a shipping scale so this is the Accutech shipping scale um i think this is about 90 no 90 sorry 19 dollars on amazon and this after i i watched like several videos this were the recommended this was this was the one that a lot of people recommended and I think it's pretty cute. It's just that the color is like really ugly, but I'm not selling shipping scale. I'm selling products, so that doesn't really matter. It's really cute and it's really portable. On the um, videos that I watched, it looked like bigger, but it's actually really small compared to my palm. It's like really small. So this is the height. Yeah, and so far it works because I've tested it out and it worked yeah i think i finished with shipping let's talk about photography so in my mind i wanted to um i like for the launch i want to do i want to do um what is it called like a photo shoot put up photo shoot for the launch so i was just thinking of ideas how do i make it really nice and professional so i got like some probes for that purpose so i got these cats thank you Ron care for suggesting this two cards actually and i can take this out when i'm doing photography because obviously the name of my brand is not shindel so <laughs> um on the site on amazon it looks like one color like rose gold sorry it looks like gold and black but it's actually rose gold it comes in rose gold and gold that's it you can't get two of each like two of one color it has to be both of them so and one thing i've done please when you get things like this always use like clear nail polish to paint all over it so that it doesn't get um it doesn't rust and it doesn't like peel off so that's what i did in preparation for the shoot so what we're going to do with this yeah we're going to have a four rug which is here so the four rug is going to be on a table against the white wall and then let's say this is the product so the product will be here and then we'll just put this here and it's just going to look really cute so that's the idea in in my head um yeah next for photography we got like four rug as well and i really like this rug because it's long enough so even if we're not using it for photo after the photo shoot we can just use it to decorate the couch and it's this yay long it's really long guys like this you can use for your photo shoot 
I think my head so because I was also look, looking for like a background for like the products and myself so this will be good yeah this is good yeah <laughs> it's really cute I like it for photo shoot we got this rotating turntable which I'm honestly very pissed at because I expected it to be very like seven inches but this is five inches 43 which is really small but um i think we'll just have to manage it and then maybe return it after we're done with the shoot because this doesn't make any sense so this is how it looks like let me put so we've got some batteries let me just put the battery because it doesn't come with battery so just just in case it doesn't come with any battery so you have to get three triple a batteries i hope i remember to take out my battery because this guy's didn't put battery like when we're returning it so yeah so once you put the battery in you just press this and then it starts rotating so this was the idea i had in mind for the video that i'm gonna do you can see that it's rotating right so this would be really nice for gif so you know when i'm doing sales or something it would be really good but it's that was the idea that i had in mind so it's going to be against the fall rug like so so the fall rug is going to be like flat and then this will be here and then it will just be rotating so this will be here or the product will be here and then it's uh, rotate and then i'll take pictures and videos that was the idea and this stuff peels a lot so but then it's fox four so that's fine then for the photo shoot actually not for the photo shoot i but i didn't have like earrings so we got um some cleats and then some earrings and these earrings are so cute again make sure to paint them with a transparent nail polish so that they retain it they retain their color and this is the 60 i think there are 63 pairs of earrings here which <laughs> is enormous and it was very cheap i think um 12 dollars or so for 63 pairs of earrings that is still the hair clips for my hair because i didn't have any and yeah so for the products and myself shoots i was thinking something very summery and fairy ish so we got um butterfly clips that we're just gonna clip to our coily hair and take pictures like see what i have in my mind is bomb i put that we're able to execute it like how it is in my head so this is for the photo shoot as well and now let's go to hair so i make wigs in case you guys don't know so if you have bundles that you need to make into wig frontal wigs closure wigs you can send them to me send me a dm at mebeautypro.hair and i will take care of that we also offer braiding services hair wig revamping services as well so feel free to send me a dm if you're interested and we sell high as in correct quality human hair virgin hair not just any hair so if you're interested in purchasing bundles as well um we have that in stocks in stock check my page and you know just go through what we have available and then send me a dm please send me a dm only if you're interested no one they send me dms asking me questions i think all my highlights i have highlights on my on my page they answer all your questions it tells you available length available closures available um textures as well so figure out what you want to buy before sending me a dm okay thank you then we got some purple shampoo for bleaching like when you bleach your nuts and you it's gonna have like some brassy tones and what's not so this purple removes like orange and yellow ish you know color it's it's the color wheel i'm gonna put the color wheel so it cancels out they cancel out each other and then some bleach because we're getting a wig so when we get the wig i plan on bleaching the knots and um also for client work as well so if you send me your bundles and you want to bleach it to any color i got you i got you and then if you just want to customize it as well um I, I i also help with that then we got this um i had one in lagos but that one was really flimsy like you put it and then it moves this moves but not as bad as that one compared to this one i'm going to put it somewhere here so you can see this really does a really good job it feels quality stronger than what i had before that's because it has metal here and i think it was pretty affordable as well i think um ten dollars or so 9.99 or something but i'll put the link down below it's 
it's really good i recommend it if you're just starting out with wigging and what's not and then i got block head canvas i'm going to be using it with the lylon i bet because like it gets stains stained easily so you might want to be careful and this is in the size 23 so let me show you how you get your size so you basically have your head like it has to be your head actually and then you take a tape rule and then you measure round the parameter of your head round like this and it tells you the size so if yours is 22.5 go higher so request for 23 and if your head size is 23.5 then go for 24 so that's that with this then some paper glue for like my special effects makeups and what's not that i want to start doing for instagram and then of course the hair dryer this hair dryer is really good i didn't have any so i was like get yourself, get yourself. yeah and because my hair is african hair so it, it tangles a lot it tangles like it's very hard so i got like some relaxer because i didn't come with any so i'm going to be relaxing my hair before the shoot so this came with the canvas block head so i'm planning to start my fitness journey so this is really good and it says that it connects to bluetooth i'm still trying to figure that out but it's really good <coughs> this is the roughy scale there was a lot of good reviews about it and then some people said it broke but it really looks like feels really sturdy and i highly recommend it and yeah i think that's basically everything if you enjoyed this video give me a huge thumbs up let me know down below what you thought and if you have any questions feel free to ask me down below i'll be responding to all your comments in the meantime i'll be keeping you guys up to date back to back like i'm gonna call this entrepreneurial series or boss lady or something something like that i'm going i'm going to come up with something Sha, and i'll be posting videos around this every thursdays so if you're into youtube growth stick to my channel on tuesdays business thursdays and then regular makeup and hair saturdays and yeah that's basically basically that i'm just going to go ahead and pack this because i haven't unpacked because i wanted to do an unboxing video now that i've gotten that out of the way i can finally organize my stuff while the product arrives next week and i'll be making a video showing you guys everything and yeah i hope everything goes well thank you guys for sticking around and if you're still watching this video up to this point please subscribe to this channel okay subscribe 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 i'll see you guys in the next one bye